Rob, welcome to Crawley. You've just been announced as our new head coach. How happy are you to have joined the Red Devils? Yeah, no, I'm delighted. It's um, yeah, it's been sort of a crazy week or so, um, but just really pleased to be here and um, really grateful for the opportunity and looking forward to to getting started and watching the lads tonight and and getting to know everyone at the club and um, yeah, looking forward to hopefully what's going to be a really exciting time. Yeah, you join us from Gateshead where you've had a very successful spell. I suppose it must be a bit of sweet feeling because you'd have great memories there, of course. But what was it attracted you to join Crawley? Yeah, um, obviously, yeah, it was a tough day yesterday leaving the lads at Gateshead. You know, I've been there for a couple of years. But I think when the uh, opportunity come, sometimes it, it's a, it might be a bit cliche, but it's just too good an opportunity to turn down. Um, when we sort of sort of heard there might be sort of something that, you know, interest and everything, we obviously spoke to spoke to the owners ownership group here and it was such a positive conversation and then when we obviously got to the nitty gritty and ultimately watched the players and watched the games it's just so exciting to see what these players are doing you know the way they played the game on Saturday okay the result didn't go the way we would have wanted but you know the way they controlled the game playing against Bolton um, you know uh, and, the, and the game at the Wrexham game for example you know you look at that and it's really exciting to get to work with young hungry players and a club that you know three years ago um, where they were three years ago to where they are now and the story and you know that underdog mentality and the togetherness that the fans, the players and the club have created is just, it's just really exciting. It's something that I think, you know, probably similar to what we had at Gateshead. So you feel like you're, you know, you're stepping up into a, into a bigger level and a club that um, is still looking to thrive. But also again, this season is going to be challenging because of the level. But when you see the talent in the group and the 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 thing that most impressed me was the energy and the, the work rate from the lads. And I think if you have that in any group, you're going to be successful. But when you add their their bravery to play um, and the style of play that obviously has been implemented at the club for a long time from the previous management, so did, Scott and the team did such an amazing job. You know, it, it, all that coming together was just, um, it's just an opportunity you can't turn down. And uh, yeah, it was it was a sad ending to our chapter at Gateshead because of the relationships we built, but a really exciting one moving forward with a with a club, a team, uh, and people. Um, I'm, I'm a big people person, and people that we feel that we can work with and develop and help and and help us. You know, I'm still inexperienced. You know, I'm not going to sit here and say that I've got the answers to everything, but I have a clear idea of how I want the team to be, how I want the squad and the and the club to sort of move forward and. Um, yeah, we're here to to try and implement that, but together, because it's not just me, it's not just the players, it's the whole staff, it's yourself, it's everyone. And I think that's the real feel at this club that um, that's what we've got. And then, you know, the fans to to probably the journey they've been on and the um, the support and the, the the bravery that the players play with and the way the fans allow that, that's, that doesn't happen everywhere. And it's um, it's something I'm really looking forward to. Yeah, you mentioned the owners in there. What were the first conversations with them like and what were their sort of first impressions? How did they sort of sell the club to you? Yeah, it was just, they were just really honest about how, you know, they obviously use a lot of data to bring players in and because of the size of the club and what they, the level they're completing at now, pretty similar to, to what we did have to do at Gateshead is you have to find value where, you know, maybe other clubs don't and you have to find value in the culture and the um, the the group in terms of the way their mentality is and, you know, working hard, being humble and doing everything you can for the club. And um, and I think that, you know, all those things combined really struck a chord in me because I loved, I've really enjoyed working with young, hungry people um, who want to succeed, but also people that respect the opportunity they've got here uh, and, you know, want to take the club to a higher level um, and take the club, make the club better whilst they get better and, you know, trying to improve individuals, um, trying to improve the squad, the overall structure in the football. There's so much to get into and there's so much potential here. And yeah, and I think what I love about this year is, um, you know, the, we've probably been written off again in terms of, yep, yeah, well, they was written off last year and what they did was incredible. You know, Scott, the players, the squad, and again this season. And, you know, from what I've seen, there's more than enough for us to have a successful season. You know, it's going to be tough. There'll be ups, there'll be downs. But if we stay consistent, we don't get too high, we don't get too low. And uh, we concentrate the important things, you know, what our identity is and and uh, we don't never come away from that work rate, that honesty, that integrity, then yeah, I think it could be really exciting. I think that's something that's drip fed from when I've met the owners and um, Preston and, and Eben and uh, Ben, Ricky, all the guys that are involved, you can tell that they really want what's best for the club, the community, the town. Um, yeah, and I think when you then watch, when you hear all that, you think this is a fantastic project. And then when you watch the players play and you see the individual talent, the, the squad talent, the bravery they play with, um, yeah, it's, you know, it's just a really exciting time, you know, 
it's going to be tough at times, you know, not, let's not get away from that. But I think you have to be positive. You have to look forward and you have to be looking at um, the strengths and always, you know, make them strengths, super strengths to cover up any weaknesses. And I think we'll evolve and we'll uh, get used to the league and the level and we'll continue from there. Yeah, you've already built a great reputation in, as you've already touched on, such a short coaching career already. What do you put that early success down to? Have you been sort of working behind the scenes on that when you haven't perhaps had a role towards the end of your playing career? What, what was it that you would put that down to? I think it's, you know, for, for me personally, I started my coaching badges at 27, 28, and I just felt that I wanted to, I think a big thing for me is that I wanted to always have an environment that I was involved in that created a, uh, a positive atmosphere where people feel they could flourish, they could be themselves uh, and they could develop, you know, and having them honest conversations with people about what they need to do to get better, but also letting, making sure people understand what their strengths are and that they need to concentrate on them. Um, the other side of it is Louis Story and uh, Anthony Sweeney have come in with us, you know, um, by no means of anything that's happened at Gates that has been, um, and my coaching journey has been down to me and there's lots of people that influence and those two guys in particular, which I'm sure everyone will get to know and see as, you know, they, they make me better. They, they cover up my weaknesses and vice versa. And it very much is a team effort and uh, as something that I love. I love working with people. I think it's, everything should be a collaborative effort. You know, everyone's got strengths they can bring and everyone's got, um, different things they bring to the group in any way and that's something I'm looking forward to to, to as well um, and yeah you know probably similar to when I took over from Mike at Gateshead we had a real clear way of playing um, and my role and responsibility was to make sure the players understood that we want that bravery in the play and to try and ev evolve it and try and you know take it take it on and put our stamp and personality on it but just to try and evolve it from there and I think it's similar you know the style of play that Scott's got the boys playing and what he did is incredible and, you know, it's been a fantastic success story, but obviously like life and football, that's moved on. And I think my job now is to come in and to um, keep the keep the stuff that's right, keep the good stuff and uh, and just try and evolve it and keep the players progressing and keep the players doing well. And I think that probably a little bit of experience from taking over from sort of a similar sort of scenario to here will hopefully stand us instead. But um, yeah, obviously you get the title of, of being manager, head coach and and all that, but it's not just yourself. It, it takes a collaboration of um, of everyone at the club. Yeah, that leads us nicely on to the next question. Do you think a lot of change will be required? Because, you know, the so-called experts have already been talking about how this is such a natural sort of progression, as you've already touched on the way that Scott had the guys playing and you've got a great reputation yourself for playing some really nice football. So is this sort of a natural progression? Do you feel like there's much over? Is this why it's such a perfect opportunity? Yeah, that was a huge factor. It was a huge factor because you know, you, you see the players and the way they play and their bravery and what they've already instilled since uh, for the last year or so, or a well, couple of years, really. Um, yeah, it's exciting to go in and work and work at a level where you can sort of, you know, start here rather than start from the ground again. And But ultimately, I'm a big believer in the players. You can give any player information, but they've got to be brave enough to go and do it. And these players exude that in every, in every sort of scenario I've seen. They're willing to play. They've gone, they can go away to big stadiums, big clubs. They can play there. They Obviously, they make this place rocking and they, you know, I think teams will know coming here that it's going to be really tough, that we're going to dominate the ball and we're going to... Um, we're gonna have real good structure, but the fact is, is that you know what I want to see is everything we do is is to is to score goals and attack the goal. You know whether we're building up from the back, whether we're switching the play, whether we're going over a press, through a press, whether we're getting into wide areas, whatever it may be, everything's to score goals, and that's what we want to see. We want to see exciting football. We want to see our exciting players, our talent. We want to see them in front of the goal, backing themselves, and um, yeah. And I think if we do that, then we we won't regret anything because we'll leave everything out there and. The good thing with that is then you can review and assess and you can get a little bit better next week. What are the first stages for you? You've got a perfect opportunity tonight to watch the lads against Mansfield. Obviously, you said already that you've watched the Bolton game at the weekend. Is it just a case of sort of watching the game in real detail and then sort of getting straight to work on Thursday at the training ground? Yeah, exactly that. I think Ben's done a terrific job. I know how difficult it is from personal experience to step in uh, and stand on that touchline. Um, and I thought he did a brilliant job the way he set the team up. I thought we were excellent against uh, Bolton and obviously... Um, a set piece goal and a, and a fantastic finish was pretty much the you know that little bit of quality and or whatever you'd call it separated it so there wasn't much in the game um, so I'm looking forward tonight to you know watching watching the players live and get that real feel for it being at the stadium getting a feel for the club and the fans and everyone um, but yeah you know I'm not going to make any major decisions here we've got a big squad we've got a good squad there's players that you know uh, I think everyone in this squad has their, has their own strengths and I think they can contribute and I'm a big believer in that. I don't sort of, uh, I think everyone in the squad 
deserves opportunities. And I think it's, it's really important that we uh, make sure that we assess everyone and give everyone a, you know, not a clean slate because they've all been in a positive, but give everyone uh, an opportunity to express themselves. And, you know, we're looking forward to seeing, um, seeing the lads play tonight and then um, looking forward to working with them on the training ground where you can get into more detail and more depth. You've mentioned them already, but talk to us a little bit more about Anthony and Louis, who you've brought with you from Gateshead. How sort of in crucial are they going to be to the success here? Yeah, I mean, Louis has been sort of one of my closest friends and, you know, he's been coaching since he was 18. He's, uh, you know, he's a very experienced coach, even though he's only 30. He's obviously, uh, was a, he's a fantastic player as well for Gateshead. He's obviously, um, he's someone that's really driven. You know, he's... Uh, he, he he sets really high standards. He doesn't let players come away from it. You know, he wants to see, and same as well, myself, when we train, we train properly and we train with intensity and we train to get better. But then when uh, we need that, when we can't train, then it's about the person and the person needs to reflect and have their time, whatever makes them tick, you know, family, friends, et cetera. Um, and yeah, and I think the detail that Louis goes into is 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 really good. and. He obviously just wants he wants to improve, but he wants everyone to improve as well, and he wants it to be, you know, about the group. Um, and and and, and Sweeney, you know, joined us in the summer, but you know, he's he's took, he's helped me and Louis improve so much. He's took us up another level. He's um, he's detail. He's understanding of the of the you know, even the sports science comparison to the football. Uh, he's understanding of individuals, the overall structure, the understanding of detail and of opposition, opposition. It's a really nice blend. And, you know, we we had that discussion, or I definitely did, um, that, you know, the three of us make up what's been successful or why we've probably felt like we've got better from, you know, last season, this season at Gateshead. And yeah, and the big thing is I want to work with good people who work hard and have values and, uh, you know, they're humble, they're hardworking. That was, and, and I think that, you know, that will reflect with the players and, yeah, and I think that's that's why I, I wouldn't enjoy it without you know having those guys with me. And I think I wouldn't be this, I wouldn't be able to implement what I wanted without having people that I trust and people that I know that you know have strengths that I maybe make up for my weaknesses with their strengths and vice versa. So yeah, it's very much a collaborative effort. And um, no, I think they're really excited as well. It's a fantastic opportunity for them, and I think we're just really looking forward to getting started. How excited are you to properly meet the squad? I mean, you spent a lot of time in the north of England, as we touched on, but before the interview, you know, it's quite the journey. Have you had sort of any crossover with any of the players before? Or is it sort of a sort of clean slate for everyone? It's it's near on a clean slate. I know Beachy, we took Beachy to Gateshead, obviously, um, you know, he's a brilliant goalie, uh, Beachy. And um, yeah, he came to us and he was really unfortunate. He got glandular fever, so that sort of disrupted his time with us. Um, but Beach is a great character and I'm looking forward to seeing his big smile. Uh, but no, um, obviously, I, I've genuinely, obviously, you do your you do your research, you speak to people. And what's been fantastic is um, genuine feedback from everyone is that you've got an unbelievable group or we've got an unbelievable group here. And, and I'm looking forward to working with them. And I think, you know, my message to the players is that all we need is the buy-in. You know, things will be slightly different. What's happened previously it won't be too different because we want to control the ball. You want to back ourselves, but um, it will be slightly different. And all I ask the players is just to buy in and trust the process that we do have a plan and, you know, what we this is what we believe in. And and all it takes is, is, is an, as an individual, as a player, is that, you know, if you if you um, if you take that responsibility to do what's asked of you from myself and everyone else, and everyone else does that, you know, the team gets better. And then when you add like, you know, you can clearly see the culture here and the work rate and the desire and the belief. You add that these sort of unmeasurables to a certain degree. Um, you can it should be something that um, should be really successful um, and enjoyable. It has to be enjoyable. You know, you have to turn up every week for the fans. They have to look forward to watching us play. The players have to look forward to being on the pitch and. Yeah, it's the personal relationships with the players that I really look forward to. And it's the thing that's probably, you know, the thing that I would say is probably one of my strengths is the relationship with players and the honesty. But from a point of view where it's about respect, you know, uh, and understanding we're just trying to help get them better in on and off the pitch. It's a great time to be a Crawley fan. Obviously, they've just enjoyed recent promotion. As a result, we've seen a massive spike in attendances. You know, it's we've always said this is a really hard place to come for an away team. How important can the fans be during your time here and sort of how much are you looking forward to meeting them for the first time? Yeah, I think, Joe, you know what you talk, we've talked about all the football and everything, but I think um, the fans is what makes the heartbeat of the club and it's what sets the tone for the club. Um, and the fans here, like you said, you know, it's been, there's been difficult times you know, and, I, and I'm very much aware of that, but you know, through them difficult times, you stay you know, the loyalty they've shown, you stay consistent and then now you reap the rewards of it. And and I think now for the fans, for me, I just want to obviously just say that, you know, one thing we'll work hard to do everything we can to to help improve the club and help keep the club going and keep this, keep us on this journey and keep us progressing. 
Um, but the big thing is I just um, want to say that I'm looking forward to meeting everyone. And all I would ask is that um, they just come with that positive energy that they bring every week and that you can hear and you can see and that's spoken about uh, and create that atmosphere. So when we're at home, you know, we have that 12th man. It's, it's cliche, but it's so true. And especially a club that, you know, is punching above its weight uh, on paper, you know, um, we don't genuinely believe that, but on paper, I suppose people look at it and say we are, well, then it just makes us even more, um, more together. And it means that we need the fans and the players and the culture and the staff and everyone even more together because um, that's what it's going to take for us to be successful. And, and that's what it's going to take for us to continue carrying on this journey. And uh, I just hope that, you know, the fans um, enjoy, enjoy the style of football, which um, they already have been. And yeah, we can just enjoy it going together and, I think the one thing that, you know, which doesn't even have to be said because of the games I watched is that they'll see a team that will work hard and will back themselves and, you know, they'll give everything. And I'll just, all I'll say is uh, I'm going to give the players the bravery to implement what we want. If they make mistakes, if they give the ball away trying to do the right thing, they won't get criticised at all. And I know the fans will enjoy that. They'll enjoy seeing players backing themselves and uh, and wanting to, wanting to progress and hopefully play really enjoyable football so they can come and enjoy it every week. Well, Rob, thank you and a big welcome to Crawley. Thank you very much, Sam. Cheers, pal.